All right, now that we have all of our sills in place, um, everything looks good, it all lines up right to our chalk line that we laid out. Um, we're ready to put our washers and nuts on. Um, so it's real important, um, this is treated lumber. Any metal that touches treated lumber has to be hot dip galvanized. Um, we have two different washers here. We have a hot dip galvanized washer and we have a stainless steel washer. Um, they say you can use stainless steel untreated. I don't like it. Um, it'll rot away after a while. So you wanna make sure that your anchor bolts and your washers and nuts are all um, hot dip galvanized. So we'll throw these guys on here. And then come back with a socket here and tighten them down. Again, when you're tightening down, you wanna double check to make sure you're right on that chalk line because that chalk line's perfectly straight. All right, we'll get them all. All right, so when we're tightening these up on the corner, we wanna make sure that we tighten them equally so we have a nice flush surface here. Otherwise, when we start building our wall, um, it could throw us out of plumb a little bit and it'll create um, an area for air to get through. So we'll keep tightening it down until we're nice and flush. All right, so now all of our bolts are now tightened down. Um, so we have a completed mud sill phase of our project. Um, so just to recap a little bit, we laid out on the foundation where our sills are gonna go. We marked the location of the bolts um, we drilled them out, we laid our sill sealer, which is that um, pink stuff that keeps the breeze from coming through. Um, then we laid our sills down on top, tightened them down, um, and now we're ready for our floor framing.